If you're looking for the easiest way to embed your Facebook feed on your WordPress website, you clicked on the right video. To do this, we'll be using the Smash Balloon Facebook Feed Pro plugin. The plugin allows us to embed our Facebook page on a WordPress website in beautiful feeds like this. I'm going to demonstrate using the pro version of the plugin, but we do have a free version available with less features through the WordPress repository. To purchase and download the plugin, head over to smashballoon.com, and once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Facebook Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Now on your dashboard on the left hand side, hover over plugins and click on add new. Then go and click on upload plugin at the top and upload the zip file for Facebook Feed Pro like this and click install now. Once installed, click on activate plugin. And there we go, Facebook Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. But before we can create our Facebook feed, let's go and activate the license key for the plugin. On the left hand side, you'll now notice Facebook Feed, hover over like this and click on settings. Next, beside license key, go ahead and paste your license key from your Smash Balloon account like this and click activate. And as you can see, our license key is now active, so we can begin creating our Facebook feed. On the left-hand side, once again, under Facebook feed, click on All Feeds. Next, go click on Add New at the top. With Facebook Feed Pro, you can create a variety of different feed types, such as a feed of posts from your Facebook timeline, a feed of photos from your Facebook page, a feed of videos from your Facebook page, a feed of photos from your Facebook albums, and more below. But for this video, we want to display our Facebook page. So I'm going to keep it on the timeline option that's already selected for us here. So we can go click on next. And now we'll have to add a source for our feed. Click on add new. And now on this step, we'll have to select our source type, whether it's a Facebook page or a Facebook group. We want to display our Facebook page and that's already selected for us here. So we can go click on connect to Facebook. This will take you into Facebook and you should now see all the Facebook pages associated with your account. Go ahead and select the Facebook page you want to embed on your WordPress website like this and click next. And now it's asking us for permission to connect Smash Balloon with our Facebook account. Don't worry, all it's doing is viewing the permission it needs to display our feed, but it won't be allowed to make any changes or posts on our behalf. So it's completely safe. Go click on done, then click on OK. This will bring you back into the plugin and you should now see all the Facebook pages that we've connected with Smash Blue. Go and select the Facebook page you want to display inside your feed like this and click on add. Then select it as a source and click next. And for this step, you'll have to select from one of these professionally designed themes for the appearance of your feed. You have options like the default, modern, social wall, outline, and overlap. Each one offers a unique design to help you create the best looking feed possible. For this video, I'm going to go with the modern theme and click next. And for our last step, we'll have to select the template for the layout of our feed. We have options like default, simple masonry, widget, simple cards, and more below. For this video, I'm going to go with the simple masonry option and click on next. And in just a few minutes, we have a live preview of our Facebook feed directly inside the plugin. This feed displays the Facebook page we connected along with the latest content on that page. And because we selected the modern theme, the reactions underneath each post are designed to match the ones on Facebook exactly. We can now go and embed our Facebook feed on our WordPress web page. But before I show you how to do that, let me show you how we can customize this. On the left hand side, under the customize tab, click on feed layout. Inside, you'll find several options to modify the layout of your feed. At the top, you can see we have layout options like the list, masonry and carousel. Currently, the masonry layout is selected, which displays your Facebook posts in rows and columns like this. Above that, we have the list layout, which displays your Facebook posts in a single column list like this. And lastly, we have the carousel layout, which allows site visitors to swipe through your posts by clicking on these buttons here. But for this video, we're going to continue with the masonry layout. And if you look down below, you can also choose how many posts you display inside the feed. Currently, we've got nine posts displayed, but if you want to change that, all you have to do is enter the number of posts you want to display just like this. And inside the preview on the right hand side, you can see that change has been made instantly. I'm going to change that back to nine. And if you look below, you can also choose how many columns you display inside your Facebook feed. To modify this, all you have to do is open it up and select the number of columns you want to display. And once again, you can see the preview has matched our change. I'll change that back to three. And if you're happy with the layout of your Facebook feed, go click on save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the color palette of your Facebook feed, under the customize tab, click on color scheme. Currently, you can see that we have inherit from theme as our color scheme. This means that the plugin will automatically match the colors of your WordPress theme. Next, we have a light theme, dark theme, or even a custom theme that allows you to select the exact colors you want for your feed, just like this. And once you have a color scheme you're happy with, make sure to go click save on the top right corner. Lastly, if you want to moderate the content you display inside your Facebook feed, Go into the settings tab and click on filters. Inside, you'll find several options to filter the content inside your feed. At the top, you can specify if you want to display posts by page owner, page owner and visitors, or just visitors. Below that, you can also choose if you want to display all posts or only specific posts inside your feed. If you click on only specific posts, you have even more options to filter the content in your feed. You can add filters to only show text posts, shared links, videos, single photos, multiple photos on an album, or even Facebook events. For this example, I'm going to keep it as all posts. And underneath that, you can also add words as filters to hide or show certain posts containing those words. And at the bottom, you can also enable a filter to only show posts within a certain date range. With these filters, you have complete control over the content you display inside your Facebook feed. 
and if you added any filters, make sure to hit save on the top right corner. And now that you know how to create and customize your Facebook feed, let me show you how we can embed it on your WordPress webpage. To do this, click on embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to and click add. And here we are now on our WordPress webpage. To embed our feed, we have two different options. The first option is to use a shortcode block and paste the shortcode that you just copied like this. Alternatively, if you're using Block Editor, you can use our dedicated Facebook feed block like this. Once you've added that block, you should see a drop down here to select your Facebook feed. Let's open it up and select the Facebook feed that we just created, like this. Once that's done, you should instantly see your new Facebook feed directly inside your WordPress web page. We can now click on Update and check out what it looks like on the live website. And here we are on our live WordPress website, and right in the middle we have that Facebook page that we just created. All the latest Facebook posts from the page we connected to the plugin are displayed inside this feed in the theme and layout that we chose as well. And if I scroll down all the way to the bottom, we can click on load more, and it will load even more posts directly inside our web page on our feed. And if a site visitor wants to check out any of these posts, they can click on it like this, and that will open up that post inside a lightbox view, allowing that user to swipe through your content at their convenience. And if you're wondering if we can embed our Facebook page into the sidebar or footer for website, we definitely can. Let me show you how. Here we are back inside the plugin and I've got a new Facebook feed created just for the sidebar of our website. To embed this inside the sidebar, go click on embed, copy your dedicated shortcode once again, and instead of clicking on add to a page, go click on add to a widget. This takes us into the WordPress widgets menu. And for this example, I want to show you how we can embed our Facebook feed inside the main sidebar, which is right here. To embed it, we have the same two options as before. We can either use a shortcode block and paste the shortcode that we copied like this, or we can use a dedicated Facebook feed block once again. And you should see this menu pop up just like before. And all you have to do is open up the drop down and select the feed you want to embed inside the sidebar like this. And once again, instantly, you'll see a live preview of your feed directly inside the sidebar widget. Go ahead and click on update. And let's check out what it looks like on the live website. And here we are back on our live WordPress web page. And right in the middle, we have that Facebook feed that we created initially in the masonry layout. But now on the right hand side, you should notice a second Facebook feed directly inside the sidebar. And just like the first one, it's displaying all the latest Facebook posts from the page we connected to the plugin. So we now know how to embed your Facebook page on your WordPress website, both on your web page and as a widget into the sidebar as well. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. If you run into any technical issues, please contact your awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.